In this short video, you will learn about one of the handy new features in TestRail 7.0, Test Case Restoration. Prior to the release of TestRail 7, if you accidentally deleted one or more test cases in your TestRail instance, those test cases would be permanently removed, which means you would also lose any associated tests and open runs or plans and any results linked to them. With TestRail 7.0, we introduced a much more safe and intuitive workflow around deleting test cases. Let's jump in and see what it looks like. Here we can see the standard test case list page, as you might see within a single repository project or in a test suite, depending on your project structure. As a user with all of the permissions to add, edit, and delete test cases, when I select and delete a single test case, I now can see a few different options. Mark is deleted, delete permanently, or cancel. Now instead of deleting permanently, our default option is to select mark as deleted. With that done, we can see that the test case disappears from the list so it's no longer cluttering up our work zone, and the test case will automatically be deleted after a certain number of days that you can configure in your administration settings. By default, a test case marked as deleted will be retained for seven days, but as an administrator, we can go to administration, then Site Settings, then on the User Interface tab, select the number of days before test cases are permanently deleted to 14 or 30 days. Now let's say we deleted the wrong test case and need to bring that one back. We can use this handy toggle at the top of the page to display deleted test cases, which will populate all of the test cases we've marked as deleted and show them as grayed out with the small indicator icon, letting us know it is not available for use and its days are numbered. Now to restore a test case that's been marked as deleted, we can click on the test case itself, where we'll see the deleted info page. Here there will be a prompt to visit the history sub tab to restore the test case. You can review the history of the test case first if you'd like, or you can simply click the restore test case button in the top right with the same icon as the edit button that would otherwise be present. Now what happens if you accidentally delete multiple test cases and want to restore them in bulk? First, we'll select a number of test cases from our repository, then mark them all as deleted. Let's make sure we have the toggle on to view the deleted cases. From here, we can restore the test cases one by one using the options we went over a moment ago, or we can select the deleted cases again, then click the Edit button. Since these cases were previously marked as deleted, we will be prompted to restore them before making any other changes, which we can do by clicking OK. Now all of the test cases marked for deletion have been restored. If we want to make any other bulk changes to the test cases, we can do that now, or simply press cancel to return to our test case repository. Okay, so now that we have a basic overview of what the overall flow looks like, let's talk about the user permissions you can use to limit who actually has the option to delete permanently. Let's head to the administration page, go into users and roles, and head to the roles tab. Let's take a look at any of the roles, like Designer. You can now see a new permission introduced in the test cases row for permanently delete. If we uncheck this box, individuals with the Designer user role will still be able to mark test cases for deletion and restore the test case, but will no longer have the ability to delete test cases permanently. As a user without the permanently delete permission checked, when you go to delete a test case, it will simply be marked as deleted without needing to select which delete option you'd like to use. You can still restore test cases that have been marked for deletion as well. As previously mentioned, test cases that are marked as deleted are not immediately removed, but are scheduled for deletion by the system after a configurable period of time. For this reason, we actually recommend that you turn off the permanently delete permission for all of the user roles in your instance as an extra precaution to avoid any unnecessary loss of data. If on the other hand, you would like to prevent certain individuals from being able to even mark any test cases as deleted, then you need to uncheck the delete option from the test cases row, which is now the permission to mark as deleted. Users without the ability to delete at all will not see any controls to delete any test cases in the UI with or without the option to mark as deleted. That covers all of the basics of the new test case restoration feature. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't hesitate to reach out to the team if you have any other questions or feedback, and we'll be happy to help.